direction. Please, 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 please. Ah. I'm happy. Hey, lap two and counting, and it's just me. Look, not a soul, not a soul. Job done. Now all I've got to do, I only went three times round, but that's enough for me. By the time I've been up to um, pay the papers and whatnot, I'll have clocked up at least 3,000 steps and more. So that's my morning segment done. Just a matter of doing the rest as and when. Look at that, folks. See him? Look, look, look. Quick as lightning, look. See that squirrel? Look. See him? Oh, what a beautiful thing. Look at that. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Hello. Oh, look. He's gone out that tree. Huh. There he is. See him? Look. See his tail? Look. Woo! Dun, 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 dun. There's an empty plate here. And the mystery is to solve why. Well, the thing food is here in the microwave. Going around and around and around. As it is. These jacket potatoes are by a company called McCain. I think they've hit upon something big here because they bake them before they make them. <laughs> I'm a poet and I don't know it. So the idea is you can cut one potato in five minutes. So it saves messing about. <coughs> Instead of having to cook them for about an hour in the oven, these are already pre baked. It takes um, eight and a half minutes, eight minutes thirty to do two in the microwave. And they're lovely. Ever so soft and fluffy when they're done. Do you keep a food log? I have been. Um, just started to do one actually. Well, I've been doing it for quite a while now. It, uh, it's a site called My Fitness Pal, but there are apps that you can use on your iPhone, iPod, and iPad. And it helps me to keep track of how many calories I'm eating and uh, my protein and carbohydrate and fiber, etc. So, you know, you've got a, like a, a running thing so you can see what you've been eating. And how many calories you... I mean, I'm under what I should eat sometimes, but I don't think it matters that much. I mean, I think the 2,500 calories from men, which is what we're supposed to eat, is probably a bit overinflated, really, because I don't often eat that much food and I feel all right. Unless there's something that I've not noticed, but, um, yeah. So it's myfitnesspal.com. There you go. If you're wanting to log what you eat and it's free and it's really good um, if you're worried about having to type in everything manually after a, after a time it gets to know what you've been putting in so it knows and you get like a list of um, the ones that you're using the foods that you have regularly and it's just a matter of ticking the box and adding it in and it's dead simple but it really is quite effective I love it so there you go the fitness tip for you if you want to start a food bar. And here we have it. Two lovely jacket potatoes. And now, I'm going to get a fork. <coughs> and look at that. Beautiful. Smash them down. A bit of butter and some filling. And that will be absolutely lovely. Yummy, 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 yum, yum. Two jacket potatoes, yummy. Tan, 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 tan. Welcome to another day, a new day, and out the window today. 
it looks like it's dry but it is cold. In here it is 12 degrees. <laughs> Hello and good morning world. It is very early, but on every vlog, now I've decided every day, we have to have the ritual opening of the blinds to signify the start of the day. And it is very early in the morning. So without further ado, here we go. Palm, 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 palm. Oops, wrong way. And as you can see, it's very dark. So, but on the shed, I can see ice. So it is cold out there. And am I, am I prepared? Yes, I am. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. The reason I've got this timer on my desk is because I'm using it um, to time myself. I don't know whether you can remember you talking about it with this technique where you work for 90 minutes, between 60 and 90 minutes. I've been doing it for 60 minutes and it's working for me. And then you have a break for 20 minutes. I only just started doing it, but I'm finding it, um, yeah, quite good. I'm enjoying it. Whereas before I'll just keep going and going. Now I have a break. And um, this, well, it's, it's a mechanical timer, as you can see. At this moment in time, uh, where well, you can see that, I've got 35 minutes left on this hour. So it's between 60 and 90 minutes. I mean, I suppose it's up to you. You could go up to 70, 80 minutes or whatever way you wanted to do. But it's between 60 and 90, and I just use 60 because it's a nice round number. Just looking at stuff online like you do, shopping, etc. But there's nothing quite like on a morning like this when it's cold in November. to have a nice warm bowl of porridge stroke oatmeal to warm you up and get you going ready for going out for a nice long walk like I'm going to be soon. Yum -y. Guess what? It's that time of the day. But this is a bit later on in the day but I didn't um, open the blinds late, uh, at that particular time so I'm going to do it now. Oh, and look, the sun's out. But I went out really early this morning for my walk, and it was cold, but I did it. Got a bit of a problem with my foot, so I've got to get some painkillers, but apart from that, it's not looking bad. Look, the sun's out. The sky looks great, look. Clouds are lovely and fluffy. Whee! Good morning. Um, been up quite a while. Went to bed early last night. So, <coughs> it's... Twenty-five past five in the morning, so uh, you might. It's dark in here. I've got um, a light on, but it's only on its lowest setting. <coughs> Excuse me. But apart from that, yeah. Um, <coughs> that's it, really. I'm going to be going out in a bit in the cold weather and the temperature today is let's have a look it's going to be about six degrees so it's not exactly cold well it's cold but it's not freezing so <coughs> with what I've got on I should be okay for my walk <coughs> excuse me and it will be dark it's funny going on the park when it's dark. <laughs> I'm a person I don't know it. Yeah, it seems kind of eerie because you can't see. <coughs> there's one particular part of it that's really dark because obviously there's no street lights on there or anything. And then as you sort of come round towards where the main road is, you can see better. But it's quite quite spooky going out there. And then, you know, it, it feels like the middle of the night when it's not really. I mean, it's going to be getting light in a couple of hours. Good morning. And now we're going to open the blinds again and see what we have in store for today. Oops, wrong way. 
It's probably, you can probably see it's still dark, quite dark. But uh, the sky looks nice actually in this camera at the moment. When I'm looking at it now, it looks quite grey. But um, it's a cold day, it was frosty when I went out for my walk this morning. But um, yeah, looks okay. Woohoo! Foot's still playing me up though, but I bought some stuff. I've got some um, ibuprofen and um, to help with the inflammation and some spray, freeze it spray, but it's still hurting me a bit. I don't know what I've done. I must have sprained it somehow. Quite how, I don't know. But that's the view today out the window. Lovely.